Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about importing textures in Unreal Engine 4. Now the first thing to talk about here are the file types that you can import. We have a PSD or a Photoshop file, JPEG, Targa, TIFF, PNG, BMP, EXR, and HDRI. Now the PSD, JPEG, Targa, TIFF, PNG, and BMP, these are examples of your standard textures, with Targa, TIFF, and PNG being the most commonly used. EXR and HDRI, these are usually used for skyboxes or cube maps. Importing textures is very similar to importing meshes. You can go to import in the content browser, or you can right click and go to import. And additionally, you can select what you want to bring in, and you can just drag and drop it. What's important to note here is that you don't really want to save your source art directly to your content browser. When you import your textures, they'll create a .uasset file. And those files will have relative links to where your source art is. The .uasset file type is a combination of the original asset and the import settings. So if you wanted to export your textures out again, you can right click, go to asset actions and click on export. And it'll ask you where you want to save it. Now for the import settings, if you double click on a texture, you'll see the import settings window. The biggest window you'll notice is the preview window of the texture. If you use your middle mouse and scroll, you'll be able to scroll in and out with the texture. And then there's this view button on the left hand side. You can cycle through the different channels of the texture. And then on the right hand side, you have the details panel. This is where all of your import settings will be. Now I'm not going to go through everything in here. Some of it is straightforward, but there are some things I do want to point out. Unreal usually does a good job of trying to understand what you imported, but under your compression settings, if it's a normal texture, you're usually going to want to leave it at default. If it's a normal map, you want to click on the drop down and you want to go to normal map. If this is a black and white texture or it's a channel pack texture, like an ambient occlusion, roughness, or metallic map, you want to set this to mask. If this is supposed to be a fully colorized texture, you want to leave it at default and you want to make sure that sRGB is turned on. sRGB is a bigger topic. I recommend that you go and do some research on it if you're curious. Now under compressions, if you click on that drop down, we have some other settings. We have the maximum texture size. So if you leave it at zero, it'll say at its default texture size. In this case, mine is 2048 by 2048. If you change this to something like 128, it will lock it to that size. All right, guys, there's a lot more settings in here to go over in the future. And as we cover more topics, we will get into the details of this. But for now, this should cover importing textures into Unreal 4. If you guys thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.